Good morning, lovelies. Um, so today is Monday. No, it's not. It's not even Monday. It's Tuesday. Welcome back to Bluey's Creations. Um, so today is actually Tuesday. I didn't film Monday because Monday I was just having a full on off day. I was not really feeling like recording. So I was like, no, don't force it because you just feel like crap and there's no point in filming and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but basically what I did yesterday was full on house clean. Um, the downstairs with what I could do. Um, and then, yeah, I also, I'm not sure if I <laughs> show you a picture, but this is my tan. It's quite dark, especially on the arms. Um, my face and my chest kind of area, it didn't really, doesn't usually stick very much. Like it does stick nicely, but after like maybe one or so washes, it kind of just comes off. Anyway, I don't care. It stays on for a fair while, um, but it probably would have something to do with, um, the fact that I actually was in the shower for a little too long. Cause you're only meant to be in there for like a few minutes, <laughs> not for like 10 minutes. Anyway, um, yeah, cause when you've got a tan on, you can't be in the shower soaking cause then it just comes off. Anyway, but so today I'm going to get my lashes done. So I will take you along with that. Hopefully she's okay if I do record it. If not, it's fine. I'll show you the after of what they look like because I'm so so keen I've heard really really good things about this lady she's just famous as far as I know um, all through Sydney and I I just can't stop hearing about her so I now I really am very intrigued to go and try her out um, just to see how good she is and um, from from the looks of things I think I'm gonna be blown out of the water and pretty pretty happy with it um, but yeah, so which is why I'm not really wearing any makeup today, not even mascara. Um, but yeah, but I have to say, I I might actually change my outfit today because I'm actually, I went outside and I'm like, oh yeah, it's okay. And then we got to the school drop off and I'm like, holy crap, it's freezing. Um, but <laughs> so yeah, but I have to admit, I love the silk. I don't know why I'm obsessed with it, but silk is just... I don't know, I feel real mm, bougie or something. I don't know, I feel real fancy when I wear, wear silk, but it, it's so nice. Like it's really nice on my skin. Mate, like, so, okay, so anybody that has fibro, definitely get silk <laughs> because your skin doesn't react to it. At least mine doesn't anyway, because oh, it's so soft and it doesn't hurt my skin or any of that kind of stuff. But yeah, um, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm going to probably, Plutter it along around the house and do a few things before I have to go. Um, I'm contemplating on getting a pedicure, but I'm not sure. Um, might get that later through the week. I don't know. But um, yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. But I'm definitely going to get my lashes done. And I'm so, so keen for it. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I am now just finished with my lashes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because I'm freaking ready and I love them. <laughs> look at those. They look fantastic and I absolutely love them. Wow. These are her signature classics. They are freaking amazing. So, yeah, I will tag them and everything on Instagram and Facebook. Um, all I can say is, holy crap, they are amazing. They look fantastic. I am definitely going back. They look so cool. If that is a signature classic, oh my goodness. Like, that is so totally worth the money. And I cannot wait to see how long they're going to last on me. Um, but yeah, they look, oh, they look freaking bomb ass. Look at this shit. <laughs> they are amazing and I look fantastic. And I have no makeup on at all. And I just look put together and I'm finished and ready and done. Wow, that is an awesome job. Shout out to her. She is absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked her out, you definitely need to go and try her out, guys. They are absolutely amazing and I'm so blown away. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to head off now and go do some stuff. <music>
Hello lovelies, good morning lovelies. Uh, so I am just finished getting my pedicure done and I'm about to head to the shops because I want to go have a look at some clothes for the kitties. Ooh. Oh, it's going everywhere. I kind of want to put... Oh yeah. Stop. I kind of want to put some lip gloss on. If you're wondering what this is, it's Rimmel London. Oh my glass. Oh my glass. Plump. All right. Um, I just realized this fella just fucking looked at me. Don't look at me. Now I'm embarrassed. I am ashamed. <laughs> anyway, I had the best pedicure of my life. It was so relaxing, nice and comfortable. Um, but yeah, it's going to head to the shops. Well, a different shop now. Um, just to go have a look at some stuff and then I will be going home. So I'll check in with you later. Oh, fuck! I feel like I've just sucked on a fucking chili pepper. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm a fucking guy. So now I am back at home. Um, I got what I needed to get done at the shops. And I also, while I was there, I grabbed some lunch for me and hubby. So I went and brought that to him for work. That way he's got something to eat and drink, especially for today. To him, it's hot, to me, it's cold. <laughs> um, but yeah, so went and did that. So I'm about to go inside, probably chill for a little bit because I'm a little bit um, uh, buggered from doing a little bit of shopping and whatnot. It just happens. Okay, so let's just understand that this is what happens to me when I have fibro because I have chronic fatigue as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go inside, go and relax for a little bit and then probably get into doing whatever the hell I need to get done. Um, but yeah, all right, I'll check in with you later. It's burning my face up. <laughs> okay, for anyone that's sensitive to... What the fuck is that? that Rimmel London stuff, tell me because I swear. Is it even making my lips look big? No, it's just freaking burning. I swear. But then again, I am sensitive, so everything's amplified. I need to get it off. Ah. I feel like I'm on fire. Ugh. Ah. My lips hurt. I don't even know if they're... <laughs> Plump my ass. I burn my ass. Fucking hurts. Oh, we're so sexy. Okay. I'm back home. I'm just grabbing... Well, I'm eating my lunch. I know you're going to be like, that's that's not lunch, Leah. That's, that's not lunch. But um, I absolutely love my vanilla malts. I'm going to show it there. Um, it's just delicious. That's my favorite and I've already started eating it um, just because I was really hungry but If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. It's so delicious. You can get it at any bakery or demand it because it's delicious um, But it's a little squished so please excuse the croissant uh, but it's a croissant filled with custard with um, Icing sugar on top. It's so so delicious but yeah, I absolutely love this. Touch you once and touch you twice. Don't let go at any price. I need you now like I need you here.
start. So now I'm going to do some laser. I'm going to quickly tell you. So this one I got from Brooklyn Body Co. Um, which is that right there. And at the moment it is on, which is why it's flashing. Um, well, it's not on technically. It's just, it's saying that the, the charger's in and that it's plugged on in that switch. Um, so basically I do this now. This thing is actually really, really good, especially um, if you're just lazy and don't want to like shave all the time. This is actually quite good. You can, um, so what you have to do is shave first, which I've done. And then you go in with this afterwards, make sure it's all dry, of course. And then just go ahead and start lasering. It's that simple. Um, it also has how high it can go. Uh, so I'll turn it on right now, which is on now. And at the moment it's on one. So I'm going to press the button to make it go up to, I think four is where I'm at. I'm still a bit iffy. Um, just because I get scared of it, even though there's nothing to be scared about. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead, start lasering. I'll show you real quick. So basically, you press it against the skin. I'm going to kind of close my eyes and look away because I don't want the flash to get me in the eyes because it just irritates my eyes. And that's pretty much how it works. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go, go in and do this and I'll be done with it and maybe I'll check in with you later. <laughs> the button and that's it like I said really good actually quite amazing um, I use this for my underarms and also for the downstairs area especially if um, you don't want to do waxing and stuff like that I'm all for waxing but sometimes when you just don't want to wax or go through that kind of pain this little beauty right here is perfect so Hopefully you guys will want to actually try it out. Um, definitely recommend it. It actually does work. Uh, you don't see any results until like maybe in the second week. Um, I usually see it in the first week, but that's because I use this, I think, about three times through the week. It depends on how your hair grows and how your body goes. When it comes to this, everybody, everybody's different. But yeah, this is really cool. This is perfect. All right, well, now that I am finished with my laser, I am going to go cook some dinner now and probably chill for the rest of the afternoon. All right, I'll see you later. Good morning, lovelies. Um, well, actually, I should say it's afternoon. Um, so today, Thursday's been a bit, a bit of an off day for me. Um, as you can probably tell by the way I'm looking, my fatigue is playing up really horrible today um also my headache I've just all week I've been battling with headaches and stuff like that and today it's really hitting me a bit more um which is kind of annoying because we actually do have to go shopping later on this afternoon I'm just hoping that I'm gonna be okay um I should be fine I should be okay um I've taken some Panadol um or actually I've taken Aspros because Aspros usually kick the headaches in the butt um, but yeah, so I'm not sure if I'll get anything this afternoon, but then again, it is the shops. I will probably find something because I'm, I love my certain shops that I do go to. Um, but yeah, so I'm really sorry that it's, this weekly vlog's kind of been a bit off and everything. Um, just because I've been off, so it's been full on, like my fibro has been playing up a little bit this week. Not a little bit, um, probably a lot actually. It's just like really whooping me. Um, and my headaches are getting worse. Uh, tomorrow I have physio, so hopefully he will be able to help me with some of the stuff that is going on. But anyway, um, so yeah, uh, today I've just been basically resting. Um, I'm actually having one of my favorite caramel lattes that um, I just, it's a caramel latte. I think I get the, the um, Nescafe one. Um, I also do like the Makona one, but I do, I prefer the Nescafe, Cafe, the Nescafe one. Um, but yeah, so yeah, 
I'm so sorry that this vlog is a little bit slack or whatever, but like I said in the first one, it's pretty repetitious. I cook, I clean. Um, I basically go out and do some shopping and whatnot when it's needed or if I feel like getting out of the house kind of thing um, because sometimes I can be very cooped up in this house. Um, but yeah, it's just... Um, and also it's going to be a lot about the fire brokers. When it plays up, it plays up big time. Um, which worries me a little bit because if it does happen, then I will not record, especially when I'm actually quite um, off for the day, um, where I basically am bedridden. Um, and I'm so, so grateful that I have a very, very awesome husband that actually helps me out when it comes to it because he, he helps me, he makes sure that he can try and grab the kids for me if I, if need be um, from the school, especially if I'm having a really bad migraine. Like I've got chronic migraines, which is ridiculous. I I thought it was just headaches that I got, because I got headaches every day, and I still do to this day. And the migraines, they're just, they're lethal, and it just feels like your head's gonna pop, and it's the most excruciating thing ever. Like I can't have too much loud noises, um, and I have to be in like a dark room and cover my eyes and everything and drown everything out because it's just it's horrible um, Which is why I worry when I get headaches and especially when they keep coming Every day and it's a full day thing in the end. I end up with a massive migraine um, which is just really annoying because I've got things to do and I've got things to get um, get done um, and I mean, I've got a family to look after as well, so it does make it a little bit difficult, but I'm really, really grateful that I do have a very helpful husband and even the children are very helpful. They'll try and help me out and say, mommy, it's going to be okay. Here's a nice pack or here's a hot towel. Or, they're very wonderful. Um, oh, I don't know what I'd do without them, but, but yeah, so pretty much today, um, I'm just trying to wake up because I ha I've been literally napping all day trying to get rid of this headache. Um, I've been feeling really, really sore, especially in my neck and shoulder area. Um, and just my legs, my legs, is al it's always my legs. I don't know why, it's just my legs, always. And that's why it, sometimes in the end I can't walk and move. And it's just really annoying because I've got stuff that I want to do. I'm not a person that likes to sit down. I like to do things. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm going to finish that, this little video part here. I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to go get ready because, um, hubby's picking up the kids right now. Um, because he got to come home early, which works out really good. Um, I'll get the kids clothing ready so that way we can quickly go to the shops, get what we need and then come straight home. Um, kind of have to take them to the shops because we need to buy them special shoes. So kind of need the child to put the foot in the shoe <laughs> um so yeah i'm going to freshen up hopefully that might wake me up a little bit more which it usually does um and hopefully it makes me feel a bit better i did have my hair up this morning but i took it out because of the headache and it was just getting worse and worse so i thought mm, i'll just take it out and then um yeah so i'm gonna go probably straighten it and fix it up a little bit and keep my hair down for the rest of the night because I feel like that might have something to do with my headaches today and probably for the past week because I've been having my hair up a lot. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go do that. And if I find anything or buy anything, you're going to see it, of course. If I don't um, show it for Thursday, like today, um, and I'm not feeling too good when I get home because usually going shopping does take a lot out of me. Um, I will probably show it for you tomorrow. So don't worry, you'll see it, whatever I've bought. Also, update real quick. Um, don't know why, but this is the first time it's actually happened to me. But my lashes, like really, really good work. Like my whole, like the right side that the lady has done, it's really, really good. Doesn't feel irritated, none of that kind of stuff. The lashes don't feel like they're irritating me at all. But the left side is absolutely annoying the shit out of me. I'm actually going to message her and see what um, she might do about it because since the day I got them in this corner part here, it just 
it's been really irritated and my eye has been very irritated so that's setting my um, fibro off as well which is kind of annoying um but yeah it just feels like the it's like a like a clump of glue i don't know i don't know how eyelash extensions work okay so i just know that there is like glue there and it's like right near the skin and it's irritating my eye like crazy and it's just it's rubbing like even when i go like that it hurts um i don't know why um so i'm hoping that when i message her she might give me a bit of insight of what's going on and whatnot and if maybe she could fix it because it's being it's getting to the point where it's very irritating now and it's actually really upsetting my eye <laughs> i'm still giving it the benefit of the doubt like um i've never had this before and i've have not heard one bad review about this lady so i'm hoping she'll give me an answer of what is going on with my eyelashes um especially in the corner it's just this corner I, I don't know what's going on with it like i said this side perfectly fine amazing it's just this side in this one little area that's really irritating the shit out of my eye um so yeah hopefully she will let me know what's going on with that and maybe she can check it out and maybe see what's going on with it but yeah I'm going to leave it there, otherwise I'm going to keep talking and talking because that's what I just do. Um, but yeah, I'll see you or check in with you later. Hey lovelies, um, so I'm back from the shopping this afternoon, um, which went quite well. Of course, I couldn't help myself. I had to go and grab a couple of things from... You know it, my favorite shop, Lefisa. As always, um, again, I like I said before, um, I wasn't feeling too great. I'm still not feeling too great. Um, I am feeling like my headache is actually gone, which is weird. Um, but give it time, it might come back a little bit later. Like I've still got the pressure there, but it's... I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's being weird at the moment, but it keeps like coming and then going and coming and going, but it's just a constant pressure at, at the moment where it's not too painful for me to actually not get up and do things. So, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, um, but before we get into me showing you what I got from LaVisa, I just wanted to say that um, I got a message back from Jen, which is the lash lady. Now, as you can see, like on this side, it's oh it's so perfect i love it um but this side there's this little corner area piece the one that's really really irritating my eye at the moment um anyway i explained my situation to her um to let her know what's going on with my lashes like it's it's really really irritating at the moment um which i said before um and i was waiting for a response for, from her and she actually turned around and said please come back in i need to check your eyes um, to see where I've gone wrong so I can fix it and that way it doesn't happen again which I truly truly appreciate and I'm actually really really happy that she did say that um, that she, it just shows that she really does care about her clients when it comes to like this sort of thing considering it is right near my eyes um, like my eyes are already sensitive enough and the fact that this eye like the right eye is fine it's doing really well um, that's why I thought it was very odd that my left eye is having a little bit of issues. Um, but like she said, come back in uh, so she can check it and see what the problem is. And that way she can fix it for me. And that way um, she can make sure that it doesn't happen again. Which is really, really awesome because you don't get that from a lot of people. Um, usually they just turn away and say, oh, I'm not sure what's wrong with it. I don't think I can help you. And then blow you off which is quite wrong of them to do but no this gen lady um she's she's actually looking out for her clients which i truly truly appreciate and i think that's wonderful so really really awesome to hear i'm so keen for tomorrow so that way i can go there get them fixed hopefully hopefully um from her and see what the problem is and obviously i will check in and sh tell you what happened um 
and see how I go. So pretty much she has said that she's going to fix it for me tomorrow. So I'm very, very happy and keen on that. Um, but yeah, let's get into the La, La Visa stuff. Oh my God. So the first thing that I got, um, so I wanted to actually get a, a couple of piercings and I want to replace this one up the top here, if you can see that. But I want to put a flat back in because this one is not a flat back. It's like a butterfly clip. Um, so I decided to grab, and it's a cubic zirconia flat back. And it's like a three pack. So this is the surgical steel one. And of course, I had to get the, the nice little crystal gem looking ones. I think they look really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, I've got those ones. Then... I'm going to pull this out now. Then I also decided I end up going back and grabbing these ones because I'm obsessed. But I grabbed these. These are the cubic zirconia ones and they just look like that. Look how cute they are. I think they look really nice and they're going to look really good. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. So these ones, the this flat backpack, this was $25.99. And the cubic zirconia um, little earrings. Uh, these ones were $17.99. Then I also decided to grab, these are a sterling silver um, cubic zirconia ones. And I'm really keen to put these ones in my ear. Um, just because they look really cute. But these are $19.99. Look how pretty those are. Oh, I can't wait to put them in my ear. Camera's not picking it up where it makes it look really pretty, but they look really pretty in person. Um, and for the last pack, now I got double, which is like two of the same, obviously, um, because one's for myself and then one's for my daughter. So I just decide I'll show you. Um, but it's a what is it? Crystals from Swar Swarshkovsky? Is that how you say it? Anyway, they are really, really pretty gemstones, and I think they look gorgeous. Now, the reason why I got two of these is because they had a deal of buy two for $20, I think that's how it works out. Um, but yeah, these are really, really pretty, and I thought one for me, one for my daughter, um, because they don't irritate our ears, and yeah. But separately, they are $14.99, but that's why I grabbed them. Two for 20 bucks, that's a bargain, so why not? But yeah, so that's what I've gotten uh, for this afternoon, um, apart from the other shopping that we did for um, uh, the boys because they need shoes. Of course, I couldn't help myself grab uh, a couple of earrings and stuff um, for me and my daughter too. Um, but yeah, so that's what I grabbed for this afternoon. Um, I'm going to probably hop in a shower now so that way I'm nice and clean and go and rest for the rest of the night. So I'm really buggered and I will check in with you either later or I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, lovely. So today is Friday. I've actually just finished doing a food shop. So I've just put all that away now. Um, but we received a parcel this morning, which I'm very excited because um, I've been waiting for this for a few days. Uh, don't mind the glasses. I kind of need them today. My eyes are a bit funny. Um, I'm supposed to be wearing them all the time, but here we are, not listening. <laughs> so, what I ordered online, I really, really wanted this because I saw it in the store and I was like, oh my God, that looks amazing. Um, but then I realized that you could personalize it, which is so, so excited, exciting. Um, but yeah, so I bought from Bras and Things. Yes, my favorite store. I love that store, okay? Um, but I went to and bought something from Bras and Things. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm very excited to see what it looks like. I'm just pulling it out and trying not to look at it. Oh my God. Oh my God, they look amazing. Oh, it looks amazing. Um, I'm just going to show this side. So it comes in this really cute tie up bag. I'm gonna keep it. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, let's get into this. I'm so, so keen. Oh, that bag, like, that looks so cute. I'm definitely keeping that for something. Um, don't know what, but it'll probably become like something of where I can store clothes or I don't know, but it's gonna look good. Oh my God, oh, I'm so excited. Look at this. I bought 
a robe. I'm obsessed with robes. Um, and oh, it has the new shells on it. Um, so I, I really wanted it to be personalized and I wanted to put my nickname on it, which you all know my nickname is Bluey. Um, but we could only fit three, like you could only put three letters, which is weird. Um, I would have, I, I would kind of wish that they could have done like the full word, but it doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. Don't worry, I'll do like a little snippet of me in it. Um, wow, this looks so pretty. Oh my God. I love it. Wow! And look, it's got my initials, blue. Uh, well, it, half my nickname. My family usually calls me Blue for short from Bluey. Um, they actually don't even really use my real name because my mum and myself actually have the same name. She named, they named me after her. Um, but in the end, they gave me a nickname called Bluey, which was because of my blue eyes. And then, um, yeah, so I don't even hear my, my real name from them. They just call me Bluey or Blue. And this looks amazing. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear it. Oh, and it's silk, of course, and it's red, and it's got this beautiful lace at the end. Oh my God, I'm so in love. Wow. Um, for those of you that are wondering and are my size, I did grab a small. Oh. oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go try it on just so I can show you. Oh my god, I love it. Check this out. in the past or in the mail today. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm absolutely head over heels, absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed. I love it, I love it so much. I can't wait to do more. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there, otherwise I'll keep talking because I've got stuff to do. I've got physio to go to, um, but I really wanted to show you that and I absolutely love it. Oh my God. All right, I'll check in with you later. Hey lovelies, it is the end of the Friday day. It's the afternoon, okay? It's the afternoon. Um, I'm absolutely wrecked. Uh, I went and did some food shopping today, went to physio, and then went and um, had a bit of a lay down because my head was playing with me again. Um, physio was pretty intense again, like just because of how tense and sore I am. Um, and then I went to see Jen's lashes to go and fix the problem with my eye that I was having. And oh my God, I cannot tell you how much something so little could be a big thing. Um, she, I, I laid down. It was literally like, it took like a minute, maybe less. And it was basically one little tiny eyelash that was irritating the hell out of my eye and now it's fine. She pulled it out and she goes, how's that? And I, you know, clenched my eyes shut, seeing whether how it felt, because I couldn't even close my eyes without it being really painful. Um, and it would just hurt. And, and when I did like clench my eyes like this, um, I was like, oh my God, you're joking, right? And she's like, what? And I, I was like, it's fine now. I'm like, that one tiny little lash that you pulled out and fixed up for me, the pain is gone. Like, instantly. And my eye feels so much better now. Um, and I just really, really appreciate that she asked me to come back um, to check it out. She's showing that she really does care about her clients, which I absolutely love. Sorry, I'm, I look like a full-on hot mess this afternoon. <laughs> Um, but I just really wanted to share this um, and update you guys with my lashes and um, yeah I just really appreciate the fact that she was like come back to me straight away let me have a look at what's going on and see if I can fix it for you so that way it doesn't happen again and I really really appreciate that I'm absolutely very impressed with it um, especially this is the first time I've been to her and yeah like look how fantastic like she pulled out an eyelash or a couple. I'm not sure how many she pulled out. I'm pretty sure it was maybe one. And they just, oh, they look good. This is the signature classics. 
and they look freaking amazing. Um, and I can't wait to go back for an infill. I'm actually super, super excited. Um, but yeah, so that's a positive. So if you're over in her way and you're looking for some nice lashes and, um, or anything like that, definitely check her out. She's absolutely amazing. Such a lovely woman. Um, and if you do have issues with your eyelashes, let her know. Cause even she was saying that she really appreciates that I said something about it. Um, and was able to come back and get her to check it out and everything and fix the problem for me. And I'm just so happy she fixed it because it was one tiny little thing that was irritating my eye. It was so bad that I was like, it was so irritated that, um, like my eye would just constantly water and it was just really sore and tender and she pulls it out and now it's fine. Like I feel amazing right now. <laughs> my eye is not irritating me whatsoever and I just feel so, so much better. I can't believe how such a tiny eyelash can hurt everything. But then again, my husband did make a very good point. If you get one little singular eyelash in your eye, how does that make you feel? It freaking hurts. That's what it does. So I think that's what was going on. I had like one, it was right on the corner. One right on the corner and it was just irritating my whole eye. Just one little tiny lash. She pulls out, boom, it's fine. You're good now. And now I feel great. <laughs> so thank you so much, Jen. I'm very, very happy that you did that for me. Um, but yeah, really, really appreciate it. So go and check her page out, guys, if you're in the area. Very nice lady. Absolutely amazing job on the lashes. I love them. Oh, God, I just can't wait to keep getting these. Honestly, I hope I can afford it because I really like them and I want this to be a part of me. <laughs> All right, so um, anyway, I'm going to end this part uh, just or in this video and, yeah, chill for the rest of the night. So, yeah. Oh, I can't believe I feel so much better now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end it and I will either check in with you later or see you tomorrow. That is the end of the weekly vlog. Um, this afternoon I actually ended up doing a little bit of makeup, which I'm actually really liking. Sorry if the camera moves, but I'm kind of sitting on the bed. <laughs> um, but look how beautiful it looks. I love the eyeshadow. I don't know what it is, but ooh, I love this look. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not sure if I will do another weekly vlog, but we'll see what the week brings us. I might even do a daily vlog because I will be going to get my nails infilled, but we'll see um, depending on what uh, might happen. But yeah, so not sure what's going to happen, but we'll see. Um, but it would be, I, I'm... I'm a bit iffy on whether I will continue these vlogs just because my fibro is playing up a little bit and my migraines and headaches are becoming quite more often, probably because I'm focusing on the video and editing a lot and then through the week it's just draining me a lot. So it's very full on. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, if I do continue them, obviously they will be put up, but if not, then they won't be. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed doing the vlogs. I really did love them. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see what happens, um, for next week, whether I will or not. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe. I would love to see you a part of the B team and be over here. Um, but yeah, so I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead of you. Don't forget to be positive and give love. Bye.